What's going on guys? This is JT here. In this video, we're going to be testing out the barrier set bonus. Now this one seems very interesting. If you guys don't know what the barrier set bonus does, we'll go ahead and read it right now. We have barrier set. You have a 2% chance when attacked to gain an absorption shield for six seconds. Now here's what's interesting with this. Now, if you're a barbarian that runs Mount Banks, you have a shield, right? If you run Phoenix Ashes, you have a shield, right? Now we also have the barrier set, which gives us a 2% chance to gain an absorption shield for six seconds. Here are my questions and here's what I want to test out. I want to test out how much life does the shield actually take? You know what I mean? How good is the absorption shield? Does it take like, you know, 5% of your life as far as a shield? Does it take 20% of your life as far as a shield? We need to test that out. Also, we need to figure out how often does barrier shield proc? You know what I mean? It has a 2% chance win attack to gain an absorption shield. I'm thinking that it probably has the same cooldown. I'm pretty sure from gathering up all the information that I've gathered up from the family bonuses, I feel like they all have some sort of initial cooldown, whether it's 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or a minute long. It's at least 20 to 30 seconds. I know that for a fact from all the testing that I've been doing, but I don't know exactly how long. So what I want to see right now is how much damage damage can this shield actually take right now thinking of that i need to actually take off my mount bank shield let's go ahead and do that now we'll go ahead and remove our mount bank set that way we don't pull up because the mount bank set that we would pull that up literally like every nine seconds we'd have a mount bank shield so then it kind of be hard to to judge like well is this mount bank shield or is this the barrier shield now with this it's going to be nice and easy right we're just going to get attacked and we're going to see a shield so let's go ahead and pull these zombies in and let's let these zombies throw up a shield for us now there is the shield right there it looks like that was i mean you can see the shield up here in the top right of my screen and we'll also be able to see how long the cooldown actually takes but that looked like right there to me that that was about 10% of your life worth of shield. So in my case, that's about 17,000 total life because I have obviously 170,000 life. So it looks like it's quite a while before the shield comes out. Now, if you guys don't know, I actually have this family set on three different pe or five different pieces. So realistically, we should have a 10% chance to proc the shield. However, I do not know if that's actually the case. Um, come on, baby. Where's that shield at? This might be like a full minute long cooldown on all these family bonuses, honestly. We're going to get a way more clearer version of how much damage the shield actually takes away from this next proc. All right, I'm looking up in the top left, paying attention hard on the top left because the shield should be activating relatively soon. Where's our shield at, baby? Come on, man. Give me a shield. I'm dying. I'm dying all the here. Where you at, family? Family bonus? We need you. We need you. Oh, we have no more potions. Oh, we're just going to go down like that with no shield? Oh, we're going to proc our Phoenix Ashes. Well, now, unfortunately, we don't know if this is Phoenix Ashes. Our family... Bo okay, well, actually, that... Oh, that was our family bonus right there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a five... That was a 5% proc. We'll go ahead and test it out one more time. Phoenix Ashes can't be triggered for another three minutes, which is perfectly fine. We're going to go ahead and die right here. I must find healing. Um, actually, let me just go ahead and respond to my boy right here. Right after this video, I will go ahead and run him through 155 challenge rift. That's no big deal. All right, so let's go ahead and revive. And let's test this out one more time just to verify. I'm pretty sure it is basically like 5 to 10% on the life. This should be enough. This should be enough of a uh, enough of a weight, right? Come on, show me the shield, baby. Where's the shield at, boys? Oh, don't let me die again, really? Well, at least we don't have Phoenix Ashes. So Phoenix Ashes actually can't proc. So that's kind of positive. We can see exactly how much the shield gives us here. All right, come on, baby. We need a shield. We're dying. Yo, don't let us die without a shield. Come on, man. Now, why did I stack bear? Oh, all right. Yeah, I think that's actually 10%. That's got to be at least 10%. 
I'm going to go with 10% on that. No doubt about that. So yeah, I think Barrier Shield is going to be worth stacking for one piece of gear to give you that 2% chance at minimum because heck, that's an extra shield, right? Definitely beneficial and I'm going to be using Barrier Stone and that is a fact. Anyway guys, I am out of here for now. My boy Juan wants to get in that challenge rift. I got to go help this man out. Peace out, fellas.